So, hello everyone, my dear friends, and in this video, I will show you how to set up Android development on Unity 3D. So, let it be. First, we have to do we have to download Android as the key. In my case, I downloaded Android as the key tools only. Zip archive. So um, I go to Google. I type Android. Oh, sorry about that. Android as the key. Enter. I go to this wonderful site, and you see, um, I had a very poor internet connection. So I uh, use it. I use it not this variant. I use it uh, this variant. No, oh, no, no, no. This one. This one. Android SDK R twenty two uh, six two Windows. So I have uh, Windows seven thirty two bits. So I use it this. You can see this size. Uh, this is in megabytes and this is in megabytes so I use it this one not this so it was you know a way you know too you know big size for me so yeah uh, uh, so mm, then I uh, don't know I download that that stuff. I mean this deep archive. Then I uh, mm, uh, then I download it and installed uh, Java uh, SDK. So you know I installed uh, a Java SDK uh, seven, but there is already version number eight. So you can use. Uh, version number eight. You can test it. Uh, um, yeah, this. No, 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 no. Wait, not this one. It's not that what we are looking for. It's uh, this one. So this file, it has a uh, such name, like you know. Uh, JDK uh, so in my case I use version number 7 so it has 7 U this number Windows and your platform in my case I have 32 bits so I use uh, this uh, so and also there is a version number 8 you, you can use version number 8 so it's very easy to install Java, Java SDK it's uh, it's application. It's not zip zip file, so you don't have to use uh, WinRAR or WinZip. You have to just launch this application and make it work. So I use version number seven, so you can use version number eight. So mm, then, uh, then you have to install your Android phone driver. So in my case, I have. Sony Xperia U ST twenty five I. So uh, I have. Uh, mm, so this phone has its driver. So here we go. If you need this driver, I can send this driver to you. So I have it. This one. This is my driver for my Android phone. Then uh, this is my plan. So. Then I install Unity Remote on my uh, Android device, so you can see it uh, it uh, it here. It's it's working. Though this is Android, this is my Android device. It's not fake device. It's real device. It's connected to my computer now. It's uh, Android Screen Monitor. It's a very useful application for uh, your for your development of your applications or games for your Android device. So, uh, Unity 
remote so uh, now there is a version number four available on market or oh, sorry not market I mean uh, Google Play Unity remote uh, mm, yeah no not this one it's it's old version it's unity remote number one but we need a uh, unity remote number four you can see it's old version it's old version so you have to click here if you cannot find this uh, in a search box you go here and here we are you have option unity remote uh, is old version and new version it's not it's number four so it's better it's better it's much better so I have it I have it installed so it's good now we go um, so now um, I will show you this so I I go to my to my uh, device and I will show you that I have uh, such things enabled on my device so I go to developer options and I enable USB debugging, it's uh, very important. Then I go back to your Unity uh, remote. And also please keep in mind that to use Unity remote, you have to, first, you have to launch Unity remote first. And then you will need to launch Unity 3D only after you have launched Unity Remote. So first Unity Remote and then Unity 3D. So then I extract folder Android SDK Windows from Android SDK Tools. So uh, I extracted it to disk E in my case. So I will show you. E uh, Android as the key windows and this folder has such appearance so also I have to warn you that uh, you know uh, <laughs> it's very funny but uh, I installed uh, I installed uh, all the possible packages for Android uh, as the key all the packages and it took me uh, and it took 12 gigabytes so I, I installed everything except uh, I mean I installed every package uh, except Android uh, 3.1 Google TV add-on because it's not uh, supported by uh, Windows so you can install uh, this mm, this package is very easy you just need to go to your Android uh, need after that you launch so uh, you go to edit preferences external tools Android is the key location and you pick your folder where you extracted this Android as the key win. In my case, it's disk E. Then in Unity 3D, you go to Edit Preferences, Project Settings, Editor, Unity Remote Device, and choose uh, any Android device option. Then, then you press Play button in Unity 3D and have experience in Unity Remote. So I will show you what I mean. So you can see here I have installed every package every so it took tw 12 gigabytes to have all the packages installed yeah it's still it, it's still counting so anyway I will close that so I will launch now you unity um, I mean not launch I will switch to you you unity unity sorry about that so you can see that this is the game I I have I have lights three light three three sources of light camera main camera and my hand and now I click and now I uh, I click 
I press play button. And here we are. Come on, launch it for me. Okay now. And here we are. We have our hand on our Android device. I hope this video helped someone of you. Thank you for watching people and have a good time. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Where's the button to stop recording? Where is it?